Right, so we've got a problem with the toilet. The flush is absolute rubbish on it. You pull it, and not a lot happens. We get in. Now what this is down to, the cistern inside, if we take the top off, this particular toilet has got the Dudley siphon uh, cistern in it, this red one. You can't do anything from the top, you've got to physically take the whole thing out. This is the low flush cistern, it's all a part of the toilet. It separates with some fixings underneath and two screws which are corroded in here. This has been in for a good 20 odd years. Um, so we've got to remove this. We could potentially repair it, but I'm going to replace it. I'm going to put a, a new modern version of this Dudley system in there. It's a bit more easy to clean and, and uh, yeah, there's no point fixing this one up really, it's old. Let's uh, whiz it out and see what we can do. First thing we've got to do is obviously drain it down. We've got to flush it. The problem we've got is, I'll show you the new one. So this is what, I've, I've been on the old Amazon and uh, ordered some bits. This is the new designed uh, Turbo 88. And these, these systems, what they have is a plastic diaphragm in the bottom. And uh, over time, the diaphragm distorts. Sometimes they actually tear. So, as that sits inside, inside the toilet there, this is the part underneath. And see this, this plastic diaphragm under here? When you pull the chain, flush it, it pulls the lever, which lifts this toggle here, pulls that, which pulls that up there. So what that's, this is submerged under water. And what you do every time you, you pull that, it just physically lifts the water into the chamber. It pushes it up which forces it down, and then the siphon effect drains the whole of the system. So all it is is like a little lift for water. This little one-way flap here, when it pulls upwards, the water can't get past it, which draws it up, but then as soon as the siphon effect takes over, it pushes the little plastic vein there forward, and the water continues to flow until the system's completely empty. It's dead simple, but it's effective. So, let's get at it. Let's get this changed and get it swapped over. I'll put links in the description for a new system. If you've got the old one and you want to replace yours for a new one, you can get all the bits and pieces from the description down below and uh, do the same job as me here. So let's uh, whiz this one out. We've got to switch the water off so that when we disconnect it, it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm going straight downstairs to this is the main inlet for the house. You might have an isolator valve on your toilet system itself, which you could use that sometimes if they've been there a long while and you do turn and they tend to leak so i know that this uh this stop cock at the main entry to the house is a good one i'm going to switch that off we turn the water off downstairs let's flush this now if i'm if i do this a numerous amount of times i should be able to get it to flush um i'll show you what i mean here we go eventually we can get it to flush and the water is now drained out almost there's a little bit in the bottom we've got most of it up right then so now we can attempt to uh we'll get that last bit out of there because we don't want any uh, silly nonsense when we take we've got to remove this whole system off the top and we don't want that leaking out so i'll just get a little cup and just drain the last bit of water out okay so i've got my little plastic cup and i can now just uh get the remainder of this water out of the system I was looking at that thinking, where am I going to tip this water? Sat on the loo. <laughs> Straight in the bee day, that's the way to go. Okay, and the last little bit, I'll use the, I'll use a sponge. Now, where's the wife's best bath sponge? I'll just use the sponge just to get the last remainder out there. Beauty of the sponge is it gets right into the nooks and crannies at the bottom and just gets that last bit of water out. Okay, I think we've about got it all there. Right. Yeah, that now is pretty damn empty. It's empty in the hole. Yeah, there we go, look. 
Next step is to disconnect some of the pipe work that we've got down here. So we've got the pipe on the bottom for the filler um, and we've got the pipe for the overflow. So uh, let's crack on down the bottom and uh, get those undone. Right, so down here in the mucky bits at the back of the uh, cistern, you can see here we've got, this is the fresh water in, intake pipe. So if we just get some, uh, we'll see how tight it is. I'll just try with a pair of grips first. See if we can crack it off, or is it going to be super tight? No, that's not bad. And we've got to get a little bit of water coming out because of the... Uh... As a rule, these sort of fixings are not too tight because they're all on plastic threads going into the toilet, so uh, they shouldn't be over tight. Just because of the water that's in the pipe, so we'll, we'll, we'll get a, a small amount out of there. I'll get the sponge in there to catch it. Okay. There we go, that's that away. So now that's loose. So we're good to go with that one. And then on the other side, we've got, just down there, we've got the overflow pipe. And again, we're gonna separate that. I apologize for the camera angles on this one. I just couldn't get a camera in there close to make a decent shot of it, but it is literally just undoing it. And obviously, because you're doing it from the underneath, if you're looking down on it from the top, you're turning it clockwise. It is anti-clockwise to undo it from the bottom, like you think. The beauty of the ply is you're not sort of angling for positions. You can get it on in most, most positions. And when you've got a tight, refined space like this, um, they do work quite well. If it's really tight, you would need to get a, a decent uh, spanner on there. Move that out of there. <laughs> And that should now be coming free. Okay, so that's that there. Now what we've got is, the main part here is held on with these butterflies that go through to the stainless steel um, fixings in the system itself. So we'll crack these off. These have got, they go all the way through from there, through to the inside. And can you see those? At the bottom, them nice 10 mil fixings, that's what we're going to go from. So we'll go from that down to that. That butterfly there. These are good because they're stainless, the threads are nice and clean. Okay, so we've undone those, those two wing nuts underneath. Now we've got this horrible rusty looking, one of them's completely rusty to and fell off. This one ain't gonna be far behind, I don't think. I'm just gonna get a pair of markers on and just see if it's got anything happening with it. Oh, there you go, look. <laughs> so it's come straight off, look how rusty that is. It's just such an old screw, it's been there forever. So, now this is all free. This should lift off now, we should better just lift it straight away off the top. Like so. Look at that. And what you're left with there, is an o-ring so we've got a rubber rubber o-ring there that, that joins the two together and on the bottom there you can see where the two threads come through and that sits on that o-ring so what we've got to do is undo this system now get that quick wipe right down on there get rid of some of that muck And those of you that are regulars to the channel will know how much I rate the Grimex wipes. These are just amazing. Again, link in the description. Just make light work of any cleaning. They're brilliant. And so that's pretty mouldy and skanky on the bottom there. And these just bring it straight off. You just can't beat a Grimex wipe. They are fantastic. With little effort, it's just lifted all that horrible mould and crap off of there, look. Brilliant bit of kit. Right, that's a lot better than it was. Okay, right, and now to the job in hand. We need to remove the cistern. So what we've got there is this big old nut. Now, if I did, when we've got the new we got a new spanner with the uh, the new system. So with a bit of luck, that'll fit on there, like that, and we can actually crack that off and undo it. It's nice that they give you a tool with it as well. At no extra cost. Oh, let's 
let's just spin that around there a second and just drop that back in. The only reason I'm just putting it back in again is so I can show you on film. If it was, if I wasn't filming it, I wouldn't have put it back in again. We've got to release the uh, the handle, but um, you could do it out. But I can't get the camera on there, so I just put it on here for ease. Drop that back in there a sec, because what we've got to do is disconnect this lever. So what we've got there is a screw, a single screw on the top. Can undo that. I reckon he's been on the beer, look. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> A fumbleina. What if we get on the thing? Right, oh, okay. And then that should slide off. We've got to take it all the way out, maybe. Oh, I hate flat screws. If it, I just, why has it not got a crosshead on there? It'd have been so much easier. A little bit of corrosion going on there as well, so. Don't whack it too hard as you'll end up busting the system. <laughs> Pull that off again. Tip it on its back. Undo the big nut. I must apologise for the dog keep barking. Got next door's cat chasing him around the garden. You'd think it'd be the other way around, wouldn't you? Not where our dog, she's an absolute soft touch. saying about the the flat look you can actually see now it's got a whopping great hole on it there look where it's all perforated you can you can just buy this polythene piece so we can even make one if you wanted to and for how much the systems are you might as well just change the whole thing right let's uh let's crack on and get this new one in the new cistern is far more compact, smaller, and a lot more water efficient, so it's worth changing it. So I've treated myself to a new angle as well. Because again, this one's a bit uh, peeled up, peeled it. It's got a bit of corrosion on it. We get some uh, fixings for the new. We get some fixings for the new cistern. So let's have that open and uh, get what we need. Right, so what we're after is uh, we want that, a new nut and a new rubber washer. So the rubber washer goes straight onto the base of that. All the way to the top, we slide that in into the system and because I've got it up right the rubbers fell off it's in the bottom oh it's a disaster <laughs> I'm knocking everything in the process making sure the surface is nice and clean which they are not to worry though because the rubber wash <laughs> the rubber washer is at the bottom of the system now so I've just got to line it up and just drop this straight through it can be a little bit fiddly, fiddly to get it past the, uh, the the cold water feed there just past the valve, but uh, look at him, look, trying to get it. <laughs> sort it out, sir, come on. Get that rubber washer around and then just get it through the hole. 
I'm just trying to make sure it is all dead in line and, and uh, it's going to go in nice and straight. <laughs> Bit of fiddler. There she goes. And there it is. That's in. In the old. Now I've just got to get the new washer back underneath. So we'll lift that out again. Just holding it all nice and central there. We can get the new nut on the base. We'll do that up. We can use this nice spanner again to make sure that's in nice and tight. Just got to make sure that it's uh, it's sitting straight in there, which it is. We can hold that with one hand while we just do it up with the other. We're not going to reef this up super tight, but it's going to be tight enough just to bring the, the rubber washer in. So that's up nice and tight. Next thing we're going to do is take off these um, the remaining bits of metal that are sticking out there. I'll try and just break them off, or I don't think they're going to unscrew. But I'll just get at them with the mole grips, see if I can free them off. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't know what's coming off. This piece of board here. There's a bit of crappy thread lock. So that's one. Let's get rid of that on the other side. Same again with that one. Can I just get a hold of that? Yeah. That's good, so I can bang two new screws in there. Right. Okay, let's give this a clean. Let's take that off for now. We'll just give that a quick wipe round with the ground wipe again. Just to clean off any of this rubbish that's uh, all lurking here. I'm not going to be too fussy with it, I just want to get rid of all the uh, the, the crud that's loose on there. The seals are uh, going to fit nicely. Got a bit of lime scale there. Right, we can drop the seal back on. If your seal was split or perished, you would need to change it. Um, you could put some plumber's mate or silica around it. And then pop the system back down onto that. place up against the wall there it's gonna go so that's all into place there now we can do up these bottom fixings again so we've got rubber washer and a butterfly nut it's surprising how after 20 years these threads are still so clean and the plastic uh, butterflies are going straight on really good same this side the rubber, the washer, and the butterfly knot. And I'll just do them up. Again, apologise for the camera. I just couldn't get it down here. It was too tight. But again, it's the same as the other side. It's just doing a nut up. I'm just going to screw this back to the wall. Get some new screws and washers in there. There we go. Got a couple of nice big long screws with some decent washers on them and we'll get them through get it back to the wall there's one two so there on nicely that pegging that in next job is this handle so on the back of the handle, there's the uh, the big nut. So if I open the new packet up and have a look inside, I'll show you what I mean. We've got the new bar and a handle. And on the back of it, it literally is just a spinny, a spinny nut there. So let's get this one off and out of the way. Just grab hold of it and spin it off. Turn 
nearly there. There we go. That's the old one out of the way. And we've literally just undone that big dodgy nut from the back of that. So let's get his new handle. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's give that a white round. Give that a clean. Get rid of any crud that's on there. There we go. That's all nice and clean. Let's get the handle in there. Slide that through. Like that way around, don't we? Just. And we also want to get the new bar on as well. So before I do it up, I'll just slide the bar in and hook it over the system. So down here, we've got the new system lever there, look, with the pulley on it. So we're going to get the new bar and where it's about right, which is the third hole along, we're just going to hook that into there. So we'll hook that in on the third hole along and then feed it now into the handle and another pair of hands. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Let's put it back in the old reset. Right, so okay. So with that coming in there. This is a good learning experience because never chuck away any of the bits you've just taken out. Because as it turns out, the old lever is far better than the new one. Might need to go back for the short one. This long one's rubbish. See, it's short and it's got a, like a, a little angle on the end of it. I might be better off with a short one with a different shape to it. Let's have a look. Yeah, I prefer this original short one. So it's not always, not always good to use the new stuff. The old one has just got a better shape to it. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Right, so the, the new arm here. This one here, it's, it's just got a better fit, it's a shorter and it fits in much nicer. So I'm going to go with that one. If I slide that over there. So I'm liking that there, that's, that's nice. Right, let's get that done up at that. Screw back in, back in there, back in there. A little screw that we got here. Good job, I didn't break this in it when I took it off. It fits far better than the new one. The new one's just, yeah, not such a nice angle on it. Oh god, it's that dreaded flat-headed screw again. Look, Ugh, slipping off it left, right, and centre. Does a job though. Okay. Bingo. Right, that's that in. So let's uh, pipe the water back up underneath now. Right, so it's cold feed. We can now get that back in again onto the onto the bottom of the system there. We'll get that done up nice and tight. You could put a bit of plumber's mate around it. I'm always a bit wary though on these these valves. Um, if a piece goes up the pipe, it can get into the little rubber diaphragm and give you all sorts of problems. It's so I'm I'm more happy to do it dry. If it does have an issue, I'll come back to it, just pop it off, and then do something. That's that one on. Same again with the other side. Just drop the overflow pipe back on again. Just whiz that up with the pliers. And then we'll turn the water back on downstairs in the cupboard. Get that flowing again. Okay, so we're all filled up. And then a pull of the uh, lever. It's all working nicely. Draining down. Good as gold. And we'll check down the bottom for any leaks. Anything dripping. Put his hand down the back, have a feel around the side, 
around the bottom of the pipes, around all the fittings we've taken away. Is it all completely dry? Which it is, so that's good news. And then this is filling up like an absolute dream. And there it is, job done. Pop it back on there. <laughs> and there we go. So the only thing I would say that I'm a little bit disappointed with is this lever does stick up quite a bit, um, but there's no more adjustment I can do on that at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only thing. But other than that, it's perfect. I mean, uh, does it matter? I don't know, yeah. It's one of them. It's working like a dream. That's all we're worried about. The toilet's, the toilet's flushing nicely. I put links in the description to all the bits and pieces I've used, the system and everything. All the links go to Amazon. Um, so it's dead easy, next day delivery. Absolutely fantastic. If it's been of use to you, if it's helped you and you've been able to fix your toilet, save yourself a fortune, save getting the plumber out. Drop me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.